Um, and deserving special uh, appreciation is Birgit Groff, who is the director of the agriculture program here. And uh, I think Birgit deserves a round of applause for pulling all this together. Uh -huh. Well, this, uh, as I say, is a series, and I am very honored to have been invited by the college to uh, moderate this presentation this evening. Actually, I'm kind of a latecomer here, uh, so this is my first time to do this. Wish I had been here for the whole series. But here's the point. This is a, uh, an informational series on this uh, very important, in fact, profoundly important issue for our, our tribe, our community, and, uh, and our, well, our very land. So, uh, what we've done is the college has sponsored a back and forth, never a debate, but a series of presentations. Now, the, I understand that proponents have uh, presented here, I gather, at least a couple of times, and as I understand it, this, is, will, this will be the second time that critics of the proposed settlement uh, will, will present. I stand to be corrected, but that's the spirit in which this is, is done. Uh, I am, uh, as I say, glad to be here. I am a very strong advocate for civil discourse. That is, that we seek truth and information, and we do so in a way that is respectful. It's as simple as that. This is not a rally, and as your uh, moderator, I will discourage applause. Please don't applaud till the end or until a speaker finishes, because this is not a rally. To be sure, these two gentlemen will speak critically of the proposed settlement and the proposed compact. <clears throat> There's no mystery about that. The proponents have spoken in favor. They've had their opportunity, and I hope there will be another opportunity in which I could even be so lucky as to moderate another proponent uh, uh, presentation. But I, I would do so once again in the spirit of civil conversation, civil discourse. Um, we will have two very thoughtful presentations by uh, very um, uh, important presenters, and then there will be opportunity for questions from you in the audience. Uh, we can do questions either of, both, of two ways. You uh, may, if you wish, at the end of their presentation, uh, stand and speak your question. Or if you feel more comfortable, there are some three by five cards in the back of the room. They uh, will probably be wandering around to hand them to you. You can write a question. And I will do my best to, uh, to to speak the questions for you to whichever of the, the, the two presenters you'd like to have respond to your question. Um, we'll, uh, we'll be at all times courteous and uh, respectful of one another and be dignified in this, uh, this pre presentation. I ask that your questions be to the point and be uh, about the factual basis for this decision, this very important decision that we are about to make. So, uh, with that as background, I uh, 